hello everyone in this video we are going to learn how to create the basic icons that you can use for your social media designs or for your website so we will be following some basic techniques which you can utilize to make some eye-catching and professional icons and buttons so first of all what we are going to do we have created a new document in Adobe Illustrator and I have just chosen few shades of gray and black that we will be using for our buttons so first of all what we are going to do I am going to create the background using the rectangle tool and for this I have selected the first color that is this one here is the code of this color if you, go, if you want to use after that I am going to create a circle using the ellipse button ellipse and holding the shift key we will get a uniform circle okay and for this I will be using the white color okay this white color will be used as a boundary for the button so what I am uh, what I am going to do I am going to create a duplicate object so press ctrl C and ctrl F so a duplicate layer has been created okay now for this one we will have to create we will have to apply the gradient over it so for this go to window gradient select the gradient bar and choose linear gradient and we have to take two shades so the first that I'll be choosing is this and second is the, the lighter shade and with the help of this slider we can adjust it as per our requirements okay so make it 90 or we can make it minus 90 okay we can scale it up so the border becomes thinner okay now we'll have to apply some shades at the background because it is usually uh, demanded for the social media post that is why I'm just teaching you and here is a rectangle tool create a rectangle stretch it like this and for this take the darker shade of the this one and for the lighter shade we will use the background color that we already have okay bring this object to the top and adjust the slider like this okay it seems nice okay and now we are going to rotate it at 45 degree so the shade becomes inclined and looks more professional okay seems good to me now we will have to create an icon in the middle so for this you can use various techniques but i am just for using the simple rectangle tool to create one icon okay grab the rectangle tool again and align both shapes you can increase the stroke okay we we can place a line like this keep it in the middle as well and simply holding the alt key drag it here to make a duplicate and then another okay now select all the shapes and using the shape builder tool simply subtract it so this is just for the sample that you can create a simple icon like this and simple align it in the middle and scale it up okay that was just a sample so in the same way you can create multiple icons and place it nicely on the artboard or whatever your poster or design is so that is a simple tutorial that is very much handy in uh, carrying out day-to-day -day design tasks thanks for watching